hello out there welcome to this lesson it's on drawing linear graphs we'll be looking at creating table of values for equation of a straight line and use it to draw the straight line so we start the first problem for problem one a create the table of values for y equal to 2x plus 1 take the range of values of x from negative 3 to positive 3 b use the table draw the graph of y equal to 2x plus 1 using a scale of 1 centimeters to 1 unit on both axes so to create the table for this our table of values will be we have the first row to contain x and since the values of x start from negative 3 to positive 3 so we have negative 3 here negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 so now we bring our equation so the first term of the equation is 2x so we have a 2x here and the second term which is the constant is positive 1 we are going to have y here but before then we will look at the calculation we are going to do here so 2x so in this uh, column x is equal to negative 3 so 2 times negative 3 gives negative 6 2 times negative 2 gives negative 4 2 times negative 1 gives negative 2 2 times 0 gives 0 2 times 1 gives 1 2 times 2 gives 4 and finally 2 times 3 gives 6 so we come here since this is a constant this will be duplicated on each of the columns so we have positive 1, positive 1, positive 1, positive 1, positive 1, and positive 1. So we now have our value of x by adding the result we obtain from 2x and positive 1 for each of the columns. So we have negative 6 plus 1 gives negative 5, negative 4 plus 1 gives negative 3, negative 2 plus 1 gives negative 1, 0 plus 1 gives 1, 2 plus 1 gives 3, 4 plus 1 gives 5, and 6 plus 1 gives 7. So we've created the table of values here. So, so we can summarize the table here. So we have uh, this for y here we have a negative 5 negative 3 negative 1 1 3 5 and 7 this is the table of values for y equal to 2x plus 1 we now use this table of values to draw the line of equation given here so we go to the next slide here we have our table of values and we bring in our graph so from here we are to use one centimeter to one unit on both axes so but before then we are going to use the values of y to draw our x axis as well as using the values of x to draw our y axis so here uh, for values of y we have more to the positive sides of y so our x axis now will be a bit down the halfway of this graph so we can have it here you can see this is more than the it is not exactly half and now we consider the values of x to draw our y axis and if you look at it now this is halfway from zero to the positive side is 3 and to the negative side is 3 so we just divide the graph into two equal halves if and uh, it doesn't matter even if one side is just make sure that we have a uh, three centimeters to the right and three centimeters to the left 
now we have the point of intersection of x axis and y axis as the origin and to the right of the origin we have a positive one two three and the negative one negative two negative three if you look at this now from here to this place is expected to be one centimeter so one centimeter one the next centimeter two the next centimeter three then also to the positive side of y so we have a one here two three four five six and uh, seven to the negative side we have negative one negative two negative three negative four and negative five so we now plot each of the points so the first point here is negative three negative five when x is negative three if we go up y is negative five so we need to go down negative five this is the point here and when x is negative two y is negative three this is x this line is x is negative two so it intersects here with negative three this is the point we go to the next point uh, for negative one comma negative one uh, when x is negative one y is negative one this is the point here and uh, the next one is zero comma one when x is zero is y axis so y is one there this is the point and the next point one comma three when x is one y is three and the next point two comma five when x is two y is five this is the point and finally when x is three y is seven so this is the point so we now join all the points with a straight line so that is the graph of the straight line y equal to 2x plus 1 so that's the end of solution to problem 1 we go to problem 2 for problem 2 draw the graph of y equal to 3 minus 2x take the range of values of x as negative 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 use a scale of one centimeter to one unit on both axes and in this case we are not asked to create the table of values and there's no way we can draw this equation of this uh, straight line without creating a table of values so creating a table of values uh, the values of x from this uh, range of values of x we know it is minus 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 that is all the whole numbers from negative 2 to positive 3 we form the values of x so we have uh, the x row here the first column here will be negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 then the first term of the equation is 3 so i have 3 here the next term is negative 2x so i have negative 2x so since this 3 is a constant it will be duplicated on each of the column then for negative 2x which means on this column x is negative 2 multiplying by negative 2 now we have positive 4 so negative 2 times negative 1 will give us a positive 2 negative 2 times 0 gives 0 negative 2 times 1 gives negative 2 negative 2 times 2 gives negative 4 negative 2 times 3 gives negative 6 so we now get the values of a uh, y by adding up the numbers we just manipulated from the equation so 3 plus 4 gives 7 
3 plus 2 gives 5 3 plus 0 gives 3 3 plus negative 2 which means 3 minus 2 which gives a uh, 1 3 minus 4 gives negative 1 and 3 minus 6 gives negative 3 so we've gotten the table of uh, values so in summary we have it as this this is the table of values which we are going to use to draw the linear graph of the equation given to us in this problem too so we get our graph here so having gotten our graph we have to use one centimeter to one unit on both axes and before we draw our y and x axis we study the values of y to get the drawing of x axis also we study the values of uh, x to draw our y axis so if you can see from here the there are more to the positive side of y than the negative side so we are going to leave much more space up so that our x axis is given here to get our y axis now um also more to the positive side but if we divide it into two as far as we are getting three lines to the left and three lines to the right so we have our y axis here and the point of intersection of x and y axis is the origin to the positive side we have one two and uh, three to the negative side negative one negative two and negative three so to the positive side of y one centimeter one next centimeter gives to next centimeter three four five six and seven then to the negative side we have a negative one negative two negative three so we now go ahead to plot each of the points so for the first point i have negative two comma seven when x is negative two y is seven this is the point here and uh, the next point negative one comma five when x is negative one this is the line up and down but since y is positive we go up this is the point and uh, the next point when x is zero which is the y axis y is positive three and again when x is one y is one this is the point when x is 2 y is negative 1 this is this point here and finally when x is 3 y is negative 3 this is the point here so we've plotted all the points what we do now is to join the points to have our straight line so we are done with problem 2 so we go to problem three for problem three complete the table below and use it to draw distance time graph use a scale of one centimeter to one hour on the time axis and two centimeters to 50 kilometers on the distance axis so from here now uh, in one hour 50 kilometers distance is covered so in two hours it will be 100 kilometers in three hours it will be 150 in four hours it will be 200 kilometers and in five hours it will be 250 kilometers so since one hour is 50 two hours will be 50 times 2 which gives 100 50 times 3 gives 150 50 times 4 250 times 5 250 then we now go ahead to draw the graph that is distance time graph then from the graph we'll be required to find the time it takes to cover distance of 
75 kilometers and 225 kilometers so we go ahead to draw the graph so we have our graph here uh, the scale for time axis is one centimeter to one hour this is our time axis on the horizontal axis and uh, this is our distance axis on the vertical axis so one centimeter to one hour so starting from the origin this is one centimeter one hour two hours three hours four hours and five hours so on the distance uh, axis this is one centimeter two centimeters i have 50 one two hundred one two one fifty one two two hundred one two two hundred and fifty kilometers so we go ahead to get the point when the time is one hour the distance is 50 kilometers one hour this is 50 we mark it out two hours hundred kilometers so this is uh, the point three hours 150 this is the point four hours 200 this is this point and five hours we have 250 this is the point so we now join the points to give our distance time graph now we go ahead to find the time it takes to cover the following distances uh, starting from 75 kilometers uh, this is 25 one centimeter here represents 25 kilometers so 50 plus 25 gives 75 so this is the point here so we now draw a line to touch the straight line and read it downward if you look at it clearly it is halfway of one and two which means 75 kilometers takes one and a half hours to cover then we go to b we go to two 225 kilometers that's halfway between 250 and 200 so this is the line here we draw to touch the straight line read it downward again it is halfway between four and five therefore 225 kilometers takes 4.5 hours so that is the end of solution to problem 3 and this is the end of this uh, tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please check our youtube channel for more videos until we come your way again goodbye